of the Army, Douglas MacArthur. Gentlemen, with this ceremony, a new nation is born, a nation conceived in the centuries-old struggle of a people to attain the political liberty to embark upon its own national destiny. A nation dedicated to the furtherance of those rights and those principles which serve to compose and advance man's dignity upon the earth. A nation upon whom the eyes of all oppressed peoples are today cast with the burning light of a new faith. Forty-eight years ago, the mantle of American sovereignty fell over this land and this people. It was the beneficent sovereignty of a liberator pledged to be withdrawn as soon as the well-being of the people would safely permit. America never wavered in that purpose. America today redeems that pledge. For 48 years, our army has stood on these shores. An army of free men Dedicated to humanity's higher service, its role has never been to rule, never been to subjugate, never been to oppress. These years have seen many men come and many men go, men truly representing a cross-section of that land beyond the seas, who brought with them a better understanding of the West, and carried back with them a better understanding of the East. This land and this people that I have known so long and loved so well.
United States determined a policy toward the Philippines new to the world, a policy revolutionary in many of its aspects, startling in its implications. Independence was to be freely, gladly given. The military security of the Philippines against foreign aggression of any kind was to be guaranteed. And finally, the economic needs for reconstruction, rehabilitation, and support were to be met at whatever cost. That those riches have been successfully preserved for the people. Philippine self-government grew organically, step by step, through the natural processes of development. Nowhere has a people been similarly trained in the school of enlightened experience. Today, there is a vast body of men and women here who are ready to assume the final burdens of sovereignty. But 48 years delegation will be discharged. The United States mighty in its new consciousness of power, but humble in its exercise has underwritten the security of the Philippines. The security of the Philippines, a memorial moment for our deeds and words. I read now the proclamation of the independence of the Philippines. Independence of the Philippines by the President of the United States of America, a proclamation. Whereas the United States of America, by the Treaty of Peace with Spain of December 10, 1898, commonly known as the Treaty of Paris, and by the Treaty with Spain of November 7, 1900, did acquire sovereignty over the Philippines. And by the Convention of January 2nd, 1930, with Great Britain, did delimit the boundary between the Philippine archipelago and the state of North Borneo. And whereas the United States of America has consistently and faithfully during the past 48 years exercised jurisdiction and control over the Philippines and its people, I, Harry S. Truman, President of the United States of America, acting under and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the aforesaid act of Congress do proclaim that in accord with and subject to the reservations provided for in the applicable statutes of the United States, the United States of America hereby withdraws and surrenders all rights of possession, supervision, jurisdiction, control, or sovereignty, now existing and exercised by the United States of America in and over the territory and people of the Philippines, and on behalf of the United States of America, I do hereby recognize the independence of the Philippines as a separate and self-governing nation and acknowledge the authority and control over the same of the government instituted by the people thereof under the Constitution 
now in court, in witness whereof I have hereunto set my hand and caused the seal of the United States of America to be affixed, done at the city of Washington this fourth day of July in the year of our Lord, 1946, and of the independence of the United States of America, the 171st, Harry S. Truman, by the President, Dean Acheson, Acting Secretary of State,